Good evening everyone. Uh, I thought I'd uh, just quickly make uh, a video before I go to bed. Um, when I got home from work tonight I had had a delivery through the post and it's of the next art full box. Unfortunately this one has got pretty battered. Uh, so yeah, it's come via Royal Mail. Uh, Royal Mail have not been very careful with it. The box itself is torn. It's got this hole there, look. So hopefully there's nothing that's fallen out of that. Uh, I'll get it open, shall I? I can see what's inside. So it's quite a big box this time round in comparison to the last one that I got. Okay, so if I show you that, you can see where uh, the lid's all torn inside there to uh, hopefully everything is intact inside. my fingers crossed on that. <sighs> oh, goodness sake. I really ought to clean my desk off. I maybe should have saved this until tomorrow morning. Um, Curious to what is in the box this time around. Right, so this is um, the next artful book. Uh, I actually thought that this box was going to come next month, but as I see from here, excuse me. Um, it's September to November. 2020 so yeah uh, coming this month in September it's within the time frame let's have a look what we got oh as though there's an entire lino printing set. Right, Let's see if I can run through the the stuff if it is all here, which I really hope it is. SD Lino Cutter and 10 Blades. So, the recommended retail price of this is $8.25. So, there's your handle. And there's your individual Lino Cutter Blades. Um, it's not boxed up as it is. Uh, it's just the, the loose handle Oops. and blades. So let's see where I can put these. It can go there. Next up, we've got the 3 by 200 by 150 millimeter by 3.2 millimeter lino sheets. Is these and they 
there's three there. Uh, linoleum blocks made specifically for printmaking. Uh, the recommended retail price of those is seven ninety five. <sighs> Next up, we've got SD red and black one hundred millimeter black block printing ink. Recommended retail price eleven ninety nine. Oh, they're nice big tubes as well. The hundred, they are two tubes of one hundred mils each, red and black ink. Surface media. So, what's it say? Twenty-five sheets of A four. Uh, acid free premium heavyweight cartridge paper. Suitable for pencil, watercolour pen, ink, calligraphy, pastels, and light wash. Looks like. Just for this pad. Uh, running out of room. 200 micron A4 acetate sheet, which is this here. Uh, RRP of that one is 40p. RRP of 40p. Right, then there's a 100 millimeter brayer ink roller rrp 825 this is this for using in the printmaking it's a long time since i've done printmaking in fact i've not done it since comprehensive school so that's crikey let's see that's gonna be when i were about 12 or 13 maybe mm. uh, uh, God, yes, about 30 year ago So that's going to be interesting Try not to lose the roller onto the floor Alright, that's everything that's in that box See, see what we've got next. So, we've got a brief history of lino printing and a bunch of top tips, and it also shows you uh, what all the uh, lino cutter tips look like so you can get the different effects. That's quite good, isn't it? Hmm. Let's have a look. That's going to be an interesting read. All right, goes on over the next two pages. That's that's four pages long. That's pretty good. Uh, there's some print templates. Uh, here are some ideas you can replicate if you're feeling a tad uninspired. And there's two more templates on pages 25 and 59. So, so that's those pretty simple uh, printing templates for uh, if you can't think what to do. Let's see, so I've got a page of editor's notes and it tells you a little bit about the art for magazine put together by a dedicated team. Uh, and then we've got Nikki Cade painting all over the globe, pages 98 to 102. And there's a tutorial for a Luna Moth. On pages 18 to 24 and then we've got a tutorial for storming a teacup pages 38 to 45 that's the editor's notes page and that's for that 
So I like the idea of, um, of these tutorials that we've got. Um, I'll definitely have a go at the Luna Moth because uh, that really does look interesting. And then, look, we get to the contents after we've done these few pages here. So we've got an interview with Emily Kelly. Then there's the Luna Moth tutorial. Uh, another tutorial for One Colour Max Impact. Uh, interview for Danielle Dubay, tutorial for Danielle's process, tutorial for Storm in a Teacup, interview with Isla Middleton, tutorial for Peas in a Pod, tutorial for Smitten Kitten, interview, sorry if I butcher your name here, Vies van der Velde, tutorial for Easy Tiger, Feature, ones to follow, feature, our charity partner, interview with uh, Kiara Lee Roy, uh, interview with Ben Charman, interview with Kamwe Fong, interview with Nikki Cade, interview Delicious Dark, uh, Delicious Desk Spaces, feature, Plant Love is True Love, feature, Your Next Big Binge, Stuff to binge while you get creative with your new kit. And then pages 8 to 9 and 25 and 59 are templates for low on inspo. So, let's have a quick squint, shall we? Landon She, Emily Kelly. So, um, this is the first of the interviews. You see a bit of her work here. And comes on over the next couple of pages. Hey, this is this is a really decent book. There's there's over a hundred pages in it just by itself. Ah. And there we've got the picture for the uh, Luna Moth tutorial, which is the one as I say that I'm going to have a go at. Um, it tells you how to go about doing it here. Over. And then uh, just a little bit more on it there. And oh, that's really nice. That's what it should turn out like at the end. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and then we've got one of the uh, low on inspo uh, print templates on this page here. Those ones are quite simplistic. Okay, one colour max impact. So yeah, that's an interesting one. About doing different depths of the same colour. And uh, how you go about it. That's a good one. Uh, Danielle Dubé, architectural lino cutting, DJing, and a tutorial on large scale prints. There you go. Uh, it carries on over the next two pages. And then we've got um, a lowdown on the process how to uh, do that one. And then a bit more on it there, and kind of how it should turn out. Storm in a teacup, we've got the uh, tutorial for that one. And then uh, shows you how to do it on the next couple of pages. And what you cut liner will look like and then if you follow it exactly with the colours and everything that's what it should look like when you print it off so I'm only halfway through the book at this point in fact I'm I'm not even quite halfway uh, we're just up to Isla Middleton Telling me a bit about her, sit down with her, a bit of an interview. 
and about her designs. So there you go. That's the peas in a pod one. And then it tells you how to go about it on the next couple of pages. There we go. Smitten kitten. And that's what the smitten kitten print looks like. So this is um, really good. Oh, there's a. Here we go. There's the other print template there for the low on inspo. Uh, yeah, so, see, look, there's, there's absolutely loads in it. Um, there's a heck of a lot of tips. There's lots of inspiration for designs to do with the, um, the lino cutting kit. Um, and yeah, this is just absolutely loads. There's um, what's this one? Pretty strange. Uh, Kiara Leroy. Uh, Kiara talks us through her passions, her struggles, and gives advice to her younger son. You have survived a hundred percent of your worst days. So, looks like Kiara's work is to do with embroidery, seeing as that's all embroidered and it's on hoops. And we've got some more there. Like I say, there's, there's a heck of a lot in this book. Uh, then we've got a page for a sock subscription, which is launching soon uh, called put a sock in it uh, our brand new sock subscription is launching soon it combines two of our favorite things art and warm feet warm feet can never be overrated unless you get warm sweaty feet and that's not really very nice uh, head over to put a sock in it.com to snag a cheeky pre-launch discount that's a cute pair of socks so yeah shed loads of stuff lots and lots and lots uh, it's certainly not short on tips uh, and we've got a page here about how to get your work featured on our social media all you need to do is post a photo of something you've drawn using at least one of the items included in this box. Your work can be as minimalist or as detailed as you like. To qualify, include the tool you used to create your work within the photo using the hashtag artfulbox and follow at artfulbox on Instagram where we'll be sharing and you might find your work featured by us so uh, that's, the, that's the ad for that with this uh, cute fluffy cat that um, someone's created so moving on some more interviews then we've got an advert for paper gang because artful is a sister box to paper gang uh, delicious desk spaces that's that one there plant love is true love there we go Your next big binge. Uh, what's that? I mean, personally, I uh, usually binge on things like crisps or chocolate. Uh, 
But yes, uh, binging on creating art is kind of a little bit more healthy and a lot less calories, isn't it? So, video tutorials arrive in your inbox on the 15th of each month. Hmm. So that means that the next one will be in four days time on Tuesday of next week. So that's going to be uh, something interesting to look out for. That's the ad for that. that page there. See if we've got any... Um... Right, it doesn't actually say anything about um, what next month's theme might be. Uh, next month, sorry, next quarter. Uh, daily drawing challenge. Half the challenge is finding inspiration, right? Well, let us help. We set a daily prompt on our Instagram, which should set you on your way to creating something awesome. Don't be fooled. You don't need to submit a drawing. Your response just needs to be creative. Each prompt is uploaded at midnight GMT or thereabouts, and it'll be on the grid and also our stories. We repost work via our stories throughout the day. Tag your work with at artful box and use hashtag artful daily challenge to get your work reshared. To the right is a selection of work submitted since the last issue of the magazine and available to view on the hashtag. That's all those on this page here. So, and that dear viewers is it for this quarter's artful box so i'm really pleased with the stuff that's that's in there as i say it's it's around about 30 years since i had a go at any sort of printmaking when i was in comprehensive school so it's going to be um let's say interesting to revisit that and uh, see if I can see if I'm any good at it because uh, I never really liked doing it in school so we'll give it a go won't we maybe I could create some designs for um, let's say greetings card for the festive season Think you know what I'm talking about there anyway this video is uh, is going on for 25 minutes long now so I'm gonna shut up and switch off and um, get it posted up if you like it you know give me a thumbs up uh, if you don't you know thumbs down you know it's your opinion and I'm not influencing on that um, if you want to see some more of my videos, subscribe, please, and um, give the uh, the bell icon a bit of a ding, and um, you can get other ones that I've already done to pop up. They're not all of Artful Box, um, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos. Um, this is only the second Artful one that I've done, but um, there's another, there's a number of other unboxing and various opening videos um so have a look and see what you think um i'm going to bed in a couple of minutes because i'm really tired so um if you're watching this as soon as i put it up um have a a nice night and a good night excuse me Ooh. and a good kip um, have yourselves a lovely weekend wherever you are in the world. Uh, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other and just look out for each other. And I'll see you in the next video. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and get some sort of structure to... Um, videos that I've put out because I'm aware that they are um, really quite random at the, the intervals that I put them out but that depends on 
when things arrive in the post I tend to uh, put videos out on the day that things arrive or within a couple of days if I'm really busy with work so what I'm going to try and do is stick to what I'm going to say here for a start um, but I will see if I can do um, unboxings, unwrappings, whichever on let's say Tuesday nights and Sunday nights let's see how that goes um, or Tuesdays in the daytime and Sundays in the daytime if I'm not working or not volunteering um, so hopefully that'll work out okay and it'll give a bit of structure uh, so that you guys watching can maybe expect when to see some content from me I hope that works and um, I hope it suits everyone and I hope it suits me as well um, if not I can always uh, revisit it and uh, rejig the days let you guys know what's happening anyway I'm going to clear off now so yes have yourselves a good sleep I'm hoping to um, and I'll see you all soon okay bye then good night